Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Whether you're tuning in through Conversations Radio Network, we welcome you. Those joining us listening in in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM, we're glad you could join us, as well as tuning in on the East Coast in Atlanta at 106 Live. We're glad you all could join us once again. Our next guest is joining us from the West Coast today. It's way early for him, but John Cohen is the producer of the movie The Angry Birds. As you all know, it was based on one of the most downloaded apps of all time and went on to be a big seller at the movie theaters. It's now available, of course, on video, DVD, digital, as well as, of course, Blu-ray. We're going to talk to uh, John not only about the success of the movie, but also a brand new initiative just announced this week, Angry Birds Happy Bodies, that is really all about getting kids moving this school year and keeping them active as they're going throughout their lives. John, hello to you and welcome to the program. Hello, how are you? I'm doing really good, John. What an honor to be able to speak with you. I should say for people out there, you know, your name probably sounds familiar because of some of the other great movies you've been able to work on, Despicable Me, of course, being one, and Hot. You know, you actually said in an interview earlier this year, John, to the Detroit Free Press that working on the Angry Birds movie was the most absolute fun you've had of any movie. What was it about that movie that really stood out for you? You know, it was just a great group of people that came together to, to, to make a movie with characters that we loved and a story that we just were all so passionate about. And, uh, and you know, every once in a while you have an experience like that that is so special, and, and this, was, this was one of them. Right. And as I said, now, of course, the movie was, was such a, a big hit in movie theaters. It's now available for our audience to be able to get in all its many formats. But you all are also doing something special. Of course, we're used to seeing characters from movies being used in different promotions. But one of the big ones that started this week, of course, is the association uh, with the American Heart Association and being able to get kids active. I mean, why was that important, do you think, for not only, of course, the Angry Birds franchise to be a part of that, but also the importance of getting kids active during the school year? Well, it, it's something that we launched yesterday with, with, with a ton of events from, from coast to coast in, in the country. And it's, when you have a movie like Angry Birds that reaches such a, such a wide audience, it's a chance to, to reach kids, it's a, tan, a chance to teach kids. And, and so that's something that we were very excited about and, and, uh, and you know, really want kids to, to do 60 minutes of exercise a day and, and hopefully – launch themselves for a, uh, a healthy future. Right. I think the other thing is the timing of this, John, is so great. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I was prepping for this segment is that great video uh, featuring the Olympic swimmer uh, Chloe Sutton, and she was with a great group of excited kids that were not only happy yeah. to have the movie in their hands, but also to be active with the characters. I mean, in those video I saw, they had Red there, and Chuck was there, and you know they were so excited to be working with them. I mean, when you see that, when you see that kind of excitement about exercising, that excitement about getting moving, I mean, does that make you feel as though you are doing exactly what you had in mind it, it really does it, it is the the coolest thing in the world when you see uh these characters in the costumes interact with kids in real life and and that is just a a, a magic that is a part of the, the the process of making these movies that that you you just you hope to have and and we've been very lucky to see the great reactions from people around the world you mentioned, John, about the, about the, the importance of, of moving. Uh, that, of course, is something that the American Heart Association is all about, you know, encouraging kids to get at least 60 minutes of activity each day. And, of course, this makes it even more fun for sure. I mentioned earlier that great quote you gave the Detroit, um, uh, Detroit Free Press, uh, John, about this film. I mean, of course, your enthusiasm for the film, and as you said, you know, those characters and individuals behind it has been kind of reciprocated by the audience as well. Does it make the, what you love, I mean, even that much more gratifying? Because you have been someone who's been very active in animation and creating since you were, you know, a, a young boy, a lot like, of course, those who are enjoying the movie today. Does that make this process even more exciting for you? It, it really does. You know, when, when you work this long on a project, you know, a movie is is like a marathon. This movie took three and a half years to make, and and. And you, you're working with a group of people that come together and, and become a family over the course of, 
the making of the movie, and, and that includes our directors, our producers, our writers, all the people that are part of the team, and, and also the actors. We have a cast that includes Jason Sudeikis and Josh Gad and Maya Rudolph and Keegan-Michael Key from Key and & Peele and Kate McKinnon from Ghostbusters. And it's just all these great, funny people who are excited to be a part of the movie, and, and you get to the end of a, a three-and-a-half-year experience, and, and, and you really feel as if you've formed a, a, special, a special family unit. Sure, and it's something, again, that all of us now can enjoy, thanks to the movie being available in, in many different platforms. For those who are just tuning in either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome to our program today uh, John Cohen. We're talking with him not only about, of course, his own love of animation and what it's been like for him to work on great projects like The Angry Birds and Despicable Me and Hop, but now, of course, you all can be able to enjoy the movie yourself. It's available now, of course, on DVD, Blu-ray, as well as, of course, to be able to get it in the digital format as well. We also are talking talking about a great new initiative that's been launched that you all definitely want to be a part of, that being Angry Birds, Happy Bodies, really encouraging the importance of going from zero to 60 to getting that 60 minutes of activity for those school-age kids today. And, of course, all of us can benefit from that uh, as well. You know, to go back to the idea of the connection between, uh, between the course, fitness and what you all have been created with the Angry Birds, John, I want to talk about, you know, the response. Because, as I said, in that video I was able to witness, you saw the kids so excited. When you hear from kids, kids like that, when you hear from parents and teachers about the appreciation for something, I mean, talk to us about how that makes you feel as someone who's been a part of this process. Well, it's, it's, it's something that can't even really be put into words. You know, you, you, you work for so long to make a movie and to create these characters, which we do with our, with our team of artists and animators, and, and for such a long time, we are sitting in a, in a small group in editorial watching the movie and laughing at it every day and enjoying the experience, but it isn't until you start to put the movie up in front of audiences and start to hear the laughs coming from people of all ages and, and, and really people around the world that you, you begin to see the movie actually take on another life, another, another kind of level of, of reality. And there's nothing more satisfying than that experience and then getting to extend it into something like this with the American Heart Association is, is just an honor and, and something that we are we're thrilled to be able to, to do. Right. You, like the rest of us, uh, John, you, uh, you are tweeting with us on Twitter. If you all are not following John, make sure you're doing so. You can find him there, at John Cohen, the number one. And one of the things that's been happening that I've noticed you retweeting a lot recently as I was prepping for your segment, John, of course, is the response to people of different ages. Um, to the response to the you know the Angry Birds movie, I mean you know I think that's another great thing about uh, the correlation between what we were saying about fitness. I remember reading a few years ago when it came to the app, John, and of course um, the the subtle ways that people were talking about that that the Angry Birds app was getting kids active. I mean, do you hope that it's kind of now reciprocated through the film and this and this association with the American Heart Association and getting people of different ages to watching the film and sharing it with other people? I really do hope so, and, and, and especially because we've included on the DVD some fun features that, that actually teach kids and adults how to, how to dance and how to, how to do things that are, that are physical. And, and, and some of the great bonus features that we have on the DVD are not only entertaining but, but educational in a fun way. You get to see the, the making of the, the Blake Shelton music video that we did, and Blake Shelton created the, the song of the Angry Birds movie, and, and we have some, some great bonus features. And we also have uh, something that I've never seen on a DVD before, which is a, a feature called Symphony Mode that allows you to watch the movie and just hear the magnificent score that our composer, mm -hmm. Hator Pereira, created for the movie, which is something that I think most people don't have the chance to experience when they're watching a movie. When we see the movie uh, actually scored by the, the actual orchestra, we hear that music front and center, and now people get to experience the movie the same way, which I think is, is a fun experience but also an educational one. 
Exactly, for sure. And we definitely want our audience to take advantage of it. Again, everyone, John Cohen, one of the producers, of course, for the Angry Birds movie, has been our guest for this segment. Make sure you all are bringing the Angry Birds movie home with you. Of course, you can get it through the digital format and also, of course, the DVD or Blu-ray as well. And take advantage of this great opportunity to share Angry Birds' happy bodies and being able to share that with the kids in your own life as well as with yourself. We all can get moving together. AngryBirds.com is the website for you all to find out more information about the film. And make sure you all are following Angry Birds on Twitter as well, at Angry Birds is where you all can go for that. John, really excited to speak with you. Thank you so much for the time, and I hope you'll come back to our program again. Oh, I would love to. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, the pleasure's definitely all mine.